Hi there, this is a favorite of mine. Um, this is a cheat at creating a louver assembly without bothering with the family editor, uh, without worrying about parametric arrays, nesting components, all sorts of other things that people uh, jump through hoops to get in a family environment. <coughs> this is using a curtain wall. So the one on the left, this one is a curtain wall type. It's a curtain wall type called a louver. In its instance parameters, it's very simple. I've just got it set to be five feet tall and it's five feet long. I didn't change anything else here. If I look at its type parameters, I've assigned its curtain panel to be the empty curtain panel, which means there is no panel. Then further down, <coughs> I've assigned a horizontal pattern of four inches on center. It could be anything. Then for mullions, I've got a one by five mullion for the frame, so to speak, on the vertical sides and the horizontal rails. And for the interior type, however, I've created a louver mullion. <coughs> so these are separate definitions. If I look in the family browser, family portion of the pro uh, project browser, we have rectangular mullions and I have a louver. And its properties are set to be an inch thick overall and five inches deep. And it has a 15 degree angle for rotation. So that tilts the rectangular louver. And then for the frame, I've changed and created one that's a little thinner than the regular curtain wall assembly. And it's only an inch thick as well, but five inches deep. So it sets into the panel assembly nicely. So what I've done here is I simply took an existing panel in the curtain wall. And I unpinned it so that I could override it and reassign it to the louver curtain wall and I get another set of louvers. As easy as that. Doesn't get much easier really. The nice thing about this is that if you change the size of the louver, it just resizes. The only thing you really have to wrestle with is the spacing. If four inches is too much or too little, you just adjust it. Now it's even possible to use a specific profile. Um, so you could create a family, a profile family, load it into the project and assign it to the properties of your louver and rather than define the rectangular default form, you just browse and find one that makes more sense that you've created and loaded in here. And then you can either leave this at zero because the angle could be defined in that family profile already, or you could rotate it further if you need to. So that's, that's a quick way to get what you want without having to drive yourself into the family editor and get nutty about arrays and constraining them and so forth. Works great in curtain wall scenarios, and in particular because you can override these panels nicely. Hope that helps.